Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. So I told you all that I had another Sephora order that was on its way. Well, it finally arrived. So today's video is a Sephora haul. Today has been another marathon film day. This is my third video of the night. It's getting kind of late, but I'm determined to finish what I started today and get my filming done. So you're going to see me looking like this three times. Hey, it is what it is. Also, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, please don't leave the premises until you've clicked that subscribe button. You know you want to do it. One of the reasons that I was determined to get this third video film is I'm ready to start using the products that I ordered and I can't do that until I talk to you all about it. So let's get started. I know for sure I have one non Sephora item that I purchased that I want to talk to you all about. You guys may remember I did a collab a while ago with Angela Denise. I love her and love her channel and recently in one of her videos she mentioned that Chanel was no longer going to have this 40 translucent 3 powder that they are changing their formula but there are a couple of places you can still purchase this powder macy's is one of the places you can buy the powder i was so disappointed to learn that they're no longer going to make this i haven't seen the new one yet but i'm hoping when they bring it back that it will be similar to this but i'm not sure so i decided to re-up on it i think she bought a couple but i just purchased one because i have about half or maybe between a fourth and a half of my original powder but guys this powder is so good i don't know what it is about it but it is so good and it's one of the few powders that i have that have a tint i like the medium deep translucent by laura mercier and i have another one by cover effects as well but this one is just this beautiful color is so beautiful on my skin tone. I hope you guys can see like the color of this. I like to use a translucent powder in the center of my face. I will put this all over and it just leaves my skin looking so airbrushed. It is worth every penny. I don't know what they put in this stuff, but it is so good. So if you haven't tried it yet and you want to, and Macy's still has it, I would recommend that you jump on it immediately. This is Natural Finish Loose Powder and the shade is number three. So make sure that you get the right one. That's a non Sephora purchase, but it's important that I tell you guys about these things because I want you to be sure to get you one. Um, some of these are re-ups. My hair is just like in my face today for some reason, it just keeps coming back. I talk about the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask all the time and I decided to get a backup. I am using one right now. I don't think I have been without this sleeping mask since I tried it for the first time a year or two ago. I love this. It comes with a little applicator, a little pink applicator. The first time I bought this, I threw that away. I didn't even know it was in there. <laughs> it's just really, really nice. This one is pink. It's the original one, but they also have other ones, but I always get this one. I don't know if it's strawberry, maybe strawberry scent. It doesn't really say. It's just the pink one, and I really like it. What I like about it, it's still on my lips the next morning. If I were to put Vaseline or some type of petroleum jelly on my lips, it's gone by the morning. But when you use a sleeping mask like this, it's still there. So it hydrates your lips all night and you don't wake up with crusty lips. And we don't want that. I was a Sephora employee at the time that I purchased some of this. So I got 30% off of some items. But you all know I love these coconut wipes. And this is like my last large package of them. I was looking to buy some more because I'm greedy. <laughs> Instead of buying the large package, these were on sale. I want to think they were $2. The little small one that has six wipes in them was very cheap and on sale and I get 40% off or at the time, 40% off of Sephora brand. So it was extremely cheap for me. So I bought five of these little jokers. These are my favorite makeup wipes for removing makeup. I love them and I recommend you guys try them. Even when they're not on sale, they're very affordable. Like I think this large package is maybe $8. I like them even better like than Neutrogena and some of those uh, drugstore ones. I just like these better and you get 25 in the larger package. So I also picked up some more Olaplex Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner. I was out of this and I love it. Also recently I was sent a shampoo and conditioning product 
to review that I'm also falling in love with. Like, love that too. But I'm sure when I go back to this, I'm going to be in love with it all over again. And you only have to use like a quarter size of this shampoo to get it to lather. It is so concentrated. You don't have to use very much of it. It repairs, strengthens, and hydrates all hair types. This used to sell so well at Sephora. Like I think that one of these products is the number one SKU. It might be this one, the number three that um, everyone buys. So this is so good. It's such a simple package, but it's just a really good shampoo and conditioner for damaged hair. And I just think it helps keep your hair healthy and keep it from being damaged. When I got a bad haircut and the lady cut all my hair off, I started using this system and my hair grew back. So it's really good. I also picked up the number three. It repairs and strengthens all hair types. And you wet your hair and then you put this in and leave it in. It says use it two to three times a week for damaged hair or at least once a week just for regular hair. You put it in your hair for 10 minutes before you shampoo and condition it and it is not a conditioner or leave-in, it's a hair perfecter. It repairs and strengthens all hair types. Like, I just know I like all of these products. I probably have purchased this three or four times. Look at how many samples I have. This is Coconut Nourishing Oil. It's for your face, body, and hair. I use it for my hair. I want to think this is $8. And I think they have it in different scents or different formulations. These products are new at Sephora, but I started using them very quickly after they started making them, and I like it. It's a very kind of liquidy oil, not too heavy on my hair. And I actually do use it on my face sometimes as well. It's really good oil, and I have re-upped on it now, I think, three times. I am so excited about this next product. You guys know I talk about my Becca Ipanema Sun bronzer all the time, and I have a ton of bronzers. I'm a bronzer girl, but I felt like it was time for a new bronzer. Lawless has come out with a new bronzer that looked pretty, and it says Summer Skin, and I thought it looked interesting, so I bought it. <laughs> That's all it took. Look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. Do you see this? Okay. We got to swatch this. Oh gosh. Look at that beautiful color. That's what it looks like on my hand. I'm going to swatch it on my arm where I'm lighter. I think that this was what drew me in. I loved the coppery color of this. It looks very warm. I got to try it. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit somewhere. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I know I don't need bronzer. Just go with me here. Okay, I just don't need any. But she got a bronzed forehead now. <laughs> That's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go back over like with my powder brush just because I have so much product on at this point. So let's just see if we can kind of make that look better. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I've already gotten it dirty, so I don't know if white was the best idea, but this is beautiful. And this one is called Blazed. I think there are two shades. This one is Blazed. Very beautiful packaging, and it says it is clean. It's talc-free, and it is a clean product at Sephora. So very nice. My next product is from Tom Ford. I don't know why I purchased so many high-end products during this recent haul, but I did. I've been hearing a lot about this particular product. This is Shade and Illuminate, and it is an Intensity 2. And it comes with a velvet pouch, and it's that same beautiful compact that I have for my eyeshadow quad, actually. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to swatch this one. I'm going to wait, but look at it. It is so pretty. I think this is going to be beautiful on my skin. It's going to be the perfect brown. I just, I know it. It's going to be the perfect brown for me. And this product is like the highlighter portion. And I can't wait to use this. I just think it's going to add a beautiful sheen where you would apply highlighter. It will be perfect to top this with a powder highlighter. My only problem when it comes to cream products is I oftentimes forget to use them. Like I am just going at it and putting on all my powders and then I'm like, oh God. I meant to cream contour. I love how my makeup looks when I cream contour. I just think it's 
beautiful for special days when I have time and when I remember, I think I'm gonna love this. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this. See, it was sold out and it took a minute for me to get it in my car. You know how you have to tell them you're interested in it and then they'll let you know whenever it's back in stock? It might've been one of those situations, but it was, it was hard to get this. There's a couple other sample products I got too. I love samples. I just keep loading up one of these drawers I have in my Alex drawers with samples. <laughs> so this is Lancome Fix It, Forget It spray. I can't believe I repurchased this, <laughs> but I did. I told you it was a disappointing product and you told me if you can get past the nozzle and the way it sprays, you're gonna love it. Just try it in a different bottle or something. So I actually went out and purchased a bottle for it so that I wouldn't have to deal with the spray nozzle here and I do want to try this one just to see how this one sprays to see if it does the same thing as the smaller I had the mini and I went out and bought the larger one here uh oh mm -mm. same problem <laughs> same problem Look at, it's just like making all of this like whiteness there, just white. And I feel little drops. It tries to be good, but the sprayer is just not the best, but the product is really good. So I will take this and pour it into my other container. It has fast become one of my favorite setting sprays. It says up to 24 hour makeup setting mist. So it is actually a very good setting spray. They just need to fix the nozzle. And it's shocking that it's that bad because it's Lancome. And they're really high end. They're not just high end, they're super high end. Penthouse, okay? I have one other product I wanna share with you guys. I got so lucky that I actually purchased two of these because this was such a great deal that I had to have two of them. This is Sephora Favorites Lux. You guys know I love the Sephora Favorites. It is typically going to be a lot of great products that are valued at way more than what you pay. I paid $25 for this little box and it's got Lux products in it. And you get ready to see, I'm gonna open it up. So this is it, I've opened it here. Wait till you see what you get in this one for 25 bucks. This is one of those boxes I got an email about. I don't know, I hope everybody could purchase it. But I received an email telling me about this particular box. Let me tell you, the struggle was real to get this sucker. I would put it in my cart, it would disappear from my cart. <gasps> you go back and it would say out of stock. It was like a one day only deal. And I kept going back throughout the day to see if it was back in stock before that day ended. Cause I was like, there's no way they're gonna let this sell out first thing in the morning and it's gone for the rest of the day and it got back in stock. And I kid you not, I had to put it in my cart and check out immediately. And as soon as I checked out, it was out of stock. <laughs> you get 0.24 ounces of the La Mer Soft Cream. I'm gonna tell you what this costs if you get a little bit larger size in a little bit. You get the Guerlain Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Makeup Base. So it's the makeup primer from Guerlain. You get this little tiny flower bomb perfume you get this small giorgio armani and i actually have this red lipstick lip maestro in 400 i think this is the color i wore in a video about gift sets that i was recommending for the holidays i had on a red so i actually have that in a larger size you get the i don't know how to say this one but that k word it's a hair product that's high end I'll have to read up more about that because I don't remember what it was. I don't know what this says either, but it's this S word. I'll, I will type this on the screen. I'll try to look this up. <laughs> First Care Activating Serum in some type of serum. So these two products I'm not familiar with, but I am familiar with all of the other products that are in this case. This is one of the reasons I really wanted it. This is 0.24. The 0.5 ounces of this little cream is $90. What? That's what she said. And I have actually purchased it before. One time, I wanted to see what the hype was all about. I think it has the miracle broth in it. And it is a great moisturizer. It feels wonderful. To feel the true benefits from this, you probably need to use it all the time. That means this little tiny jar is worth $45. 
and I paid $25 for the whole thing. So I tried to jump on it really quickly just because I remember that the La Mer cream was so, so expensive. So that's my Lux kit and I have a backup one over here. That was probably my best find from this purchase. So that is all that I have for my part two. I have fewer products this time around because I really filmed most of my haul before and I was just waiting on a few more products. If you wanna see more hauls, make sure that you click my playlist because I have all of my hauls organized in my playlist. Just, you know, grab a bag of popcorn and have at it. So I hope that you all have enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.